was known as the total man. A nickname that symbolized his powers as a confidant of retired President Moi, evoked and a powerful cabinet minister. And today, Nicholas Kipiator Biwot has been ailing his last at the Nairobi hospital. Biwot is said to have felt unwell minutes after 9 a.m. and was rushed to hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. Yeah, we confirm that, uh, that he's, he's rested um, and further information will be given once the family meets. Thank you. He, he fell ill in the morning and he was brought to the hospital uh, here in Nairobi hospital. Friends and relatives crowded the Lee Frindle home where the body of the ex-minister was taken. The loss of Biwat is a big blow to so many of us and we wish the family all the best at this time and all the friends. Today we have so many people who have gone to, to school uh, courtesy of uh, Honorable Nicholas Biwat. So mine is to say follow the family. We have lost really one of the senior statesmen in our country. President Uhuru Kenyatta referred to be what as an educationist whose devotion to education of young people was deep. Former President Daniel Arap Moi termed be what as a dedicated public servant. Former President Moi Kibaki says he remembers the late be what as a focused public servant. Opposition leader Rilo Dingo on his part said Honorable Bobby Watt played a central role in the formation of the modern Kenya state. Deputy President William Ruto termed be what as a good Samaritan. The Council of Governors, through its chair Josphat Nanok, also mourned Biwot. The death of Biwot, who served as the Keio South Member of Parliament for 28 years, stunned the constituency in El Geyo, Maraquet County. He was an humble man, a tagang man, a mingi, and a tagang man, a straight board. I was a man who was a man who was a man who was a man who was a man even as the country tries to come to terms with the death of Joseph Olen Kayseri, death has struck again. Friends and relatives throng the Lee Frundo home to pay their condolences to the family of the late ex-minister Nicholas Biwot. Stephen Leto for Citizen TV, Nairobi.